Tell us how you're reacting coming off the injury and everything. Is everything good? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. Been blessed to be in the position that I'm in with the, the best staff, I think, in the country, bar none. Jeff Allen and Jeremy and these guys are, Coach Saban has us the best staff in the country, the best care. And I mean, this is, if I'm going to tear my ACL somewhere, I'm, I'm glad I did it here. Right, so, Is it a deal where you've, you've taken the hit or made the cut where your mind is at ease now? Yeah, I had, a, I had one catch last scrimmage, caught the ball, Savion came right on the leg, hit, I was like, I'm alive. It's all right. So it's, I did, it was definitely a confidence thing. That, that's always good. Um, how's it going with the offense and the, the flow with Mike Lotsky and everything? And I'm sure it's a learning thing, but it's still the Alabama offense, as everybody talks about. Definitely, and I think that's something we try and battle through in camp is kind of find that identity as an offense and what Coach Loxley kind of wants that to look like. And that's something we're still – kind of attacking every day as we talk about like, what's our identity on offense, what's our identity on offense, and kind of follow Coach Loxley and see how, how he wants that to look. So it's something that's definitely, like, I think, molding together daily through camp. How big is it to go through a scrimmage where you're able to kind of get a feel for Coach Loxley calling plays and vice versa, he's able to get a feel for you guys and what it's like to call plays in a situation? Uh, I mean, I think that's a big thing. We've been around him here for a little bit. as He was the receiver coach last year, and a lot of these guys know him. But it was definitely good to get out there and kind of, be out there with them as really an OC in your first like, scrimmage setting was for me at least. What have you, uh, can you talk about um, Irv, Irv Smith and how interesting what type of tight ends those are and oh, kind of the camaraderie that you have? I'd love to talk about those guys. I mean, um, like I, I truly believe we, those are two like great players and fantastic dudes as well. And you're, they've both grown so much since, just since I've been here as players and as, as human beings. And I'm, I think we got one of the best rooms in the country, I really do as far as guys and playing ability is. I love those guys. What have you seen from some of the other guys, uh, Tennyson and uh, the new additions? Kedrick, Major, and Michael Parker, those, those three younger guys have all grown tremendous, I think, over camp, especially Michael as he started to take these, these new steps. But Major and Kedrick are both going to be ready to play. Those guys are both kind of grown into their role, and they kind of know what and how they need to get things done now. And they're, they're definitely starting to step up, and you can see that. That's gonna make, a couple more. That's going to make you better, doesn't it? Like, when there's definitely. Talent. Yeah, and it's that's it's awesome to see in a tight end room. You have so many good players. Competition breeds excellence. I think the more guys we have that can do the uh, the job well, then the, the better the job will get done. So, and you, and you still know that's one. if you perform well, you're gonna play because I mean they played as many tight ends as running backs. Exactly. That's kind of a short answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry. Answer, come on. I, mean, I mean, what more do you want from that? Give me one more. Yeah, give me one more. Uh, can you can you go off <laughs> can you a little bit more on uh, Kendrick James? I know. Uh, I mean, he's just. He looks phenomenal, you know, year over year, and I mean, just kind of elaborate a little bit more on him. Yeah, and Kedrick's one of those guys that like walks into a room, and you're like, what in the world? And he's a physical freak, one of the freakiest guys on the team. I mean, I've seen the guy throw a football just like 65 yards, just like standing still and throw the ball. Like, what in the world? And you'll see him windmill, and he's he's an absolute freak. When he when he gets his mind right, and knows what he wants to do. I mean, that guy can be unstoppable. So he has tremendous potential.